All right, so this no code pro saw a problem with Netflix and he did something about it with his SaaS team. And you can learn from this. Even if you're a beginner with AI, you can build awesome platforms and make a killing with it. Watch this. Over quantity, it's content. They have thrown everything against the wall and hope it sticks. I love that. While Netflix has a massive selection, I'm not interested in 99% of it. Okay, so potentially showcasing content that people are actually interested in. Just about everything to do with the user interface. Okay, so okay, so what he's doing is scouting. All right, he's deriving information to see what the pain points are of people that watch Netflix. If you're going to build a product or a service, especially a platform, you want to first uh, analyze uh, what's wrong with the other people's platforms, your competitors' platforms, and everything like that. Um, and in this case, his competitor is Netflix. So he's going and looking at customers of Netflix and seeing what's wrong so he doesn't make the same mistakes. And it also gives him an advantage, a leg up on where to start to please customers for retention. Seems like con finding the content and the user interface might be able to be improved a bit. The infinite scroll means you waste time scrolling up and down. I totally agree. Okay, here's a second feature. A better rating system for me, the value of one out of 10 stars is long over. Okay, and here's a whole okay. article talking about all the hate around autoplay of the trailers. They literally created a setting so you can turn them off. And here's a one- For sure, man. Like, I hate that, man. You go to Netflix, you know when you go to Netflix, and as soon as you get there, at least on the uh, the desktop version of Netflix, like it automatically starts playing the trailer and stuff, you know, and it's loud as hell, you know, you thing it ain't porn or something or you'll be caught up because the whole house will hear it. You hear me? <laughs> Star review that's just called Cleopatra was never black. Okay. What? Right. Warning my friends, the internet is a toxic right. place. But we've now decided to go with a better rating system, killing that endless scroll and prioritizing content you actually care about, and finally murdering that autoplay for the trailers. So now that we know what we want to build, let me introduce you to the most advanced AI coding platform. The name of the platform is Bolt. It has very recently been released, and I've been playing around with it, and I must say I'm quite impressed, so let's jump in. Please. Okay, guys, so basically, like, um... A lot of people think they have to have this extremely unique idea, uh, but what no code SaaS or no code AI allows you to do is to take templates of uh, genius ideas that are already out there working. For example, if you wanted to build your own social media platform, why try to code one from scratch or build one from scratch when we already know that people are infatuated with the TikTok uh, user face. You know, they can scroll all day in Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels and all of that stuff. So why not take that platform, uh, you know, base and then just simply add unique features to it a little bit later. So he just took down three things that people hate about Netflix and he's going to use no code, um, you know, software, SaaS software, um, to try to rebuild Netflix, a better version, a better one. Build an app like Netflix using Next.js. So what this is actually gonna do is it's going to create and open a code editor. It's gonna start coding as you can see, but more importantly, it's gonna start off with creating a page structure. You see it's building out this entire thing from just one prompt. So we're gonna see the results here, and then we're gonna use that as a starting point. Now just to be clear, this is still in early phases, so we'll probably hit some bugs, completely normal. But boom. just. So just in case you didn't hear what this software is, guys, this is Bolt AI, um, and it just helps with you know creating the user face of the um, the the AI platform that you're going to be building or whatever. Just like that, I'm able to see that it has already generated a pretty impressive see, look at that. first look version of this was. app. <laughs> so you're too busy to read the Bible? What? Well, what if your Bible could read itself? And we can see that it is trending now. We see new releases. This already looks really good. So the next already. thing I'm gonna do is come back here and start adapting it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to make sure that here, for each one of the cards, please include the title of the movie, the duration, and the overall rating. So do you see how the Bolt AI, I think this is a Bolt still, yeah. Uh, you see how is creating the code for the actual Netflix uh, alternative, 
just from prompts. So like when ChatGPT came out, man, it just like changed everything in the world. You can literally just speak what you want into some of these uh, little systems and it'll bring it to life. Of five. And now it has applied these changes. I'm gonna come down. We're gonna see, there you go. You can see there's a star system here already, which is really cool. It seems like the overlay seems to not cover the entire card. There was an error processing your request. Totally fine, this happens sometimes. We're gonna go ahead and click Let's go again. There you go. Now the card is fully is covered. Crazy. So we fixed this problem. The first thing I noticed is that the first problem we're trying to solve yeah. is relevant content, right? Oh, great. There's so many cool things. So I think this could still be like a feature of like recommended movies at the top. So I think that it would be cool if this was kind of a sliding card. Could we have the hero section be a sliding card? So even though we want things that are quite relevant to what we're looking for, it's also nice to kind of have a couple of cool options that have just come out. Now we're talking, check it out. Boom, The Matrix. Crazy, that works right? pretty well. I like the idea, Interstellar. Now one thing I noticed is that Netflix uh, logo at the top, could you please Remove that. align the logo? Boom, and it's just realigned it right here. Yeah, it so this is perfect, now it's aligned here it. with trending. It's exactly what I was looking for. Now the cool thing here is that it already doesn't have endless scroll, right? And there are really three sections that I usually care about when it comes exactly. to Netflix. I don't know about exactly. you, but the first one is continue watching. So this is exactly- Right, because don't you get like super confused when you go there and you're trying to find something like now, I literally click out of Netflix and go to torrent sites. Don't tell nobody. But I go to torrent sites instead because it has a limitation as far as the scroll goes, Netflix is trying to compete with social media or something because they didn't added it to where it's just like endless like this and it's difficult for you to pick something. Like when you have too, too many choices, most of the time you end up not picking nothing just due to confusion. We all know a confused mind never buys, so it might go the same thing with, uh, with when you're trying to select the movie to watch. Like, it's super confusing. So when you go to Netflix, you hear the trailer immediately. It's loud, so it throws you off. You're discombobulated. And then you start scrolling, and it's just so much, and, and you just don't know what to do. What I'm looking for. Then I would say that the second one is probably... Uh, recommended for you. And then the third one could be trending. So now I'm actually seeing the things that I want to see inside of this. Yeah, this I'm going to continue cool. playing around a little bit to make it kind of perfect. I want to make these cards a little bigger. I want to make potentially even a search field so it's easier to find things that I'm looking for. Excellent. I'm glad that this broke here. So basically, if anything breaks, what you want to do is you want to either fix the problem in the chat or you can grab this message and just put it inside and just say, fix this issue. And is it actually imp I'm starting to love this Bolt, uh, you know, project right here. Tell me if you guys have used Bolt AI to build anything yet. Why is it people in the comments uh, arguing over whether or not Cleopatra was black? Like, <laughs> who cares? First of all, the Egyptians were dark skinned. They weren't what you guys see in Mummy and the movies or in modern day Egypt right now. Those are Arabs. So you would think that the uh, Egyptians, the true Egyptians were more like Liberians and like extremely tall and dark skinned and stuff like that. So I don't know what the hell these people are talking about, but who cares? It's not an argument. Who cares? This is an AI, no code Netflix video. Watch the movie or the uh, video. Embedded an element, which is the uh, carousel autoplay. So basically so it can scroll through. I just thought that might look nice. Boom, let's go. Boom. So now that we've hey, created this home page and I think it looks pretty good here, I'll probably continue fine tuning it, but now I want to create detail pages. So these detail pages are going to live underneath this and once you click on it, it should be able to bring you to one of these detail pages. So let's go ahead and do that. We have a details page, we can thumbs up it. Thumbs up doesn't work, the share doesn't work. Play doesn't work yet, perfect. So basically what you guys can see is that you can pretty much like type anything into Bolt as far as fixing the code for you. So even if you're at amateur level of coding, this is no code, you can just tell it. You have ChatGPT get, get the code for you or Claude AI get the code for you or something like that. And then you plug it into to, uh, to Bolt AI and then Bolt AI will start bringing it to freaking life. This is crazy. This is actually awesome as hell, right? I might have some ideas, you hear me? 
Um, <laughs> but let's see how it turns out, though. Let's get to that part. I want to see how it actually turns out. I would out. delete every app on my phone for this. Oh. It's called Chatbot AI. Chat you can literally AI. ask movie on the planet and then i can go ahead and add the movie so this has done exactly what i was looking for here okay so wow. we've now created a better navigation we've also added advanced feature for the review system and we don't have autoplay in this version Come which on, is awesome man. but one of the most difficult parts of actually launching an app is to get it live to deploy it what that means is exactly. we want to connect it to all the different things right the server we want to basically have it live on a url at the end of the deployment but this is the most frustrating part for any development team but let me show you how you can deploy in just a couple of minutes without any technical skills required on the hey subscribe to that dude for sure because you know he's pretty much telling you how to build the whole situation uh me and my partner we had a, um, a streaming site a while ago called the live in and uh it was it was a digital version of you know the drive-in remember yeah i might be young so back in the day there was a drive-in you can Watch movies outside. All the cars would drive up and park, and they had this giant projector screen and everything. And you could watch all the latest movies out there. So we created, we wanted to create that same feel, uh, but on a website. So like we had some called the Live In. If this was around, if this AI right here was around when we when we were building that site, dog, yeah, it would have been a problem. Up right here, we have a button that's called Deploy, and when we click on Deploy. It's going to deploy the full application, as you may guess. Now, this is actually pushing it from a test environment to a live environment on, so it can man. live on the URL. It has Come failed on, building now. the project. Excellent. Let's go ahead and figure out why it failed. Okay, it's saying that these random movies that I asked it to grab uh, might not be able to showcase in the live version. So we would actually mm, potentially not? need to have actual data. So add a bunch of these uh, movies and series to the website and then we'd be able to launch. But I'm asking it to simply just fix it, fix this issue. Let's launch anyway. Let's, let's go. See. And just like that, after a little bit of debugging, as we can see here, we have the website. Ooh oh, la la. Crazy. That's wild. Go ahead and click on any one of these as well. And we're going to be able to see the full details. Again, these are placeholders uh, that we would have to actually fill out if we wanted them to appear with the titles and the actual movies that we have. So there you go. You're welcome, Netflix. By the way, if you want to sign me for a series of buildings. They ain't going to sign you, bro. But it's crazy how AI, no code. So, software was able to rebuild Netflix, guys. So what do you want to rebuild? Like, it's problems with Airbnb. It's problems with Uber. Uh, it's problems with Turo's platform. It's problems with DoorDash, OpenTable. A lot of these major, you know, platforms and stuff like that is is issues with them. That's what you want to do. You you can question or interview their customer base and ask, yo, how could uh, Netflix be better? How could Airbnb be better than it is? Like, what are, I know you love the platform, but what are some things they got wrong? And you, you make a list of all of those things, and then you simply recreate the same platform, but you fix those things, and it, it makes it completely unique. So you're building off of a working foundation, letting all your ways be established, a.k.a. proven, like the Bible says to do. And then you're simply building on top of that, being creative by fixing the problems of those customers. And then they'll just literally graft over to you know, or draft over to you. All right. So make a move.